Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm uh, working on the wiring for my camper. I've already started some of it, so I'll show you what I've got done and how I did it, and then we'll go from there. All right, so I've got two sources of power, eventually gonna be three. Um, I can plug in, and this is just a standard extension cord plug, and I can plug in there. Now on the back side of the 110 input, it's just a standard plug. And I got this male end of a plug, connected it to some Romex cable, and this wire will all be hidden later. But for right now, it's just, it comes up and goes in to the back of the electrical box. I've also got two six volt golf cart batteries. These are wired in series to give me 12 volts. And they come into the camper right here. Now if you see here inside the front, it's where the batteries come in. And of course this will all be scanned later. And they go through the spars all the way to the back and end up in this electrical box. All right, so we took the cover off so you can see what's going on here. Now these, are the inputs from the batteries. Red's positive, black is ground. Yep. And it comes in right here and powers all of these fuses. And that's what sends power to my lights and fan and everything else. Now the AC input comes in and connects to the breaker here there's the main power going into the breaker. Sorry, I got a light back there. And then the ground and the neutral connect. Neutral is the white, the ground is the green. And from there, it sends power over into here. A positive and a negative to the 12 volt. And that's what charges the batteries when you're plugged in. And then I've got the extra breakers that I'm going to add some regular 12 volt or regular 110 volt AC power that I'll be able to use when I'm plugged in or plugging things in, charging laptops, batteries, all that kind of good stuff. Of course, those will only work when I'm plugged into electrical. Uh, everything else will run off the batteries and should work all the time. So each one of these fuses I can put put something on. And so far the only thing I've got hooked up is two lights and a fan. Let's see if I open the fan up. Right now I, I unplugged the AC so this would just be working off the batteries. So that's what I've got so far see my uh, of course I'm just getting everything working right now and then I'm gonna come back and clean up this wiring but these are all 12 volt running off the batteries running to the lights and the fan and they come over here and I've got these wires running down behind the wall down to here and this is my lights I'll have a switch here I haven't installed the switch yet, so right now it's just touching the wires together, make the lights come on. And this one will be for the outside light above the door. All right, so here's the back. You see the Romex going in to the breaker. The battery lines here, 
and then I've got a ground coming out here that right now I've just got these the lights and the fan spliced to this one ground I'm going to actually use a um, a just distribution block that I'm going to have one ground go into this and then all my ground leads coming off of this going to the lights and the fan and everything else and I'll probably mount that maybe right up here or on the side over here this will all be closed off eventually so you won't be able to get to it without taking it apart but unless you pull the box out from the front and these are all positive leads coming out from the fuses um, right now I've got one for the fan one for the lights the only two fuses I have but I have all these others that I can add additional stuff so like one will go to the light above the door on the outside. I'll eventually have lights back here um, in the galley. So we'll have one go to those. And then I have some reading lights that'll go in the front. <clears throat> I'll have one of these go into the reading lights. I wanna try to keep as much as I can on separate fuses. So I'm not overloading any one circuit. I know I could probably put most of the lighting on one fuse but as many of these as I have to be able to fuse and I'm not going to have as much electrical to be able to use all of these I might as well do separate fuses for each each thing so I think that's what I'm going to do and then the one other thing the one other the third power source that I'm going to have is I've got another port like this one that's smaller that will allow me to plug in a solar panel. So basically here's my solar panel. It's thrown up here on top of my kayak right now. But it's a port that allows you to plug this style of port in, or plug in. And it'll be somewhere right in here, above it or below it, maybe to one side or the other. But it'll allow me to plug in the solar panel. And the solar panel, and then it'll have a wire running from here to a charge controller first and then to the box and that'll allow me to charge the batteries on the front using the solar panel when i'm not connected to ac power so if i'm somewhere off off grid and don't have a plug to plug in here then i'll be able to during the day when it's sunny have uh solar power for charging my batteries. So that's where I'm at. I'm uh, gonna start doing some work on uh, installing some more stuff and cleaning up the wiring and uh, we'll see how we do.